studying a while, I thought I should be inducted into this important literature. In my personal opinion, I believe that there is no true way to determine if some works are more important than others. With that being said, my definition of important literature is a work that is able to be sort of be supported by at least one genre and is represented by a time period and mainly has a lasting impression on the reader. About John Martel. John Martel is a Canadian author best known for the Man Booker Prize winning novel Life of Pi. He's won a number of liter literary prizes, including the 2001 Hugh McLennan Prize for Fiction and the 2001-2003 Asian Pacific American Award for Literature. He's also the first Canadian to represent the Washington Arts Commission. About Level 5. The book was published in September of 2001, and the author is Jan Rato. Part of the story, the story starts out as a Canadian author interviewing Indian storyteller Pai Patel to hear on firsthand the account of his adventures. Pai recounts his childhood in the French occupied India, where his father had owned a zoo. When Pai's family business fails, they find a place in Canada to buy zoo animals. Leaving Pai and his family to travel on a Japanese cargo ship overseas to Canada. One night, Pai wakes on a cargo ship because of a severe storm they were experiencing in the middle of the ocean. The storm hits the ship and ultimately sinks it, leaving the family and animal aboard. Pai manages to escape into a lifeboat along with a Bengal tiger, a zebra, and a hyena. Now Pai is forced to live out on sea with a lifeboat with dangerous animals. Pai is forced to befriend a tiger named Richard Parker in order for his own survival. Theme, the, theme, the will of survive is a theme from the beginning of Pai's journey to the end. Pai took many acts to prove this. The first act was to survive, to, to survive his being able to escape into a lifeboat after returning to the lower rooms to, save, to try to save his family. The second act was being forced to stop his vegetarian ways to sustain his hunger by eating fish. His third act was being forced to move off the lifeboat away from Richard Parker until he's able to befriend him and live together as one. His fourth act is leaving the carnivorous island after finding a human in the flower. His final, his fifth act is having Richard Parker giving him a purpose for living, making Pi, making Richard Parker Pi's will to survive. The animals who have to survive amongst themselves, proving that the strongest only have the will to survive on the lifeboat. Another theme is the ability to tell a good story. Like a Pi, the story within a story. In Canada, a writer visits an Indian storyteller, Pai Patel, and asks him to tell his life story. Pai tells the writer before the story that this is the story that makes you believe in God and is determined whether to believe or not. One version may be factually true, but the other is emotionally true, and the other cannot approach. The true events of Pai's voyage are too horrible to commentate directly. A young boy would go insane and face with the kinds of acts Pai indirectly tells his interrogators he has witnessed. But recasting his account as an incredible tale about human-like animals, Pi doesn't have to face the true cruelty of human beings or actually get older. Similarly, by creating the character of Richard Barker, Pi is able to ignore the ferocious violent side of his personality that allowed him to survive out in the ocean, even though it's not technically a lion by his eyes. He believes that the tiger-like aspect of his nature and the civilized human aspect stand in tense opposition and occasional partnership with one another. Just as the boy, just as Pi and the tiger, Richard Parker are both enemies and allies. The last theme that I found was religious belief. Pi started the story out by saying he would tell a story about don't make you believe in God. Pi believes in three religions, Hinduism, Christianity, and Islam. Stories and religious beliefs are also linked in the plot because Pi asserts that both require faith and part of part of the lesson. For, for being a very religious person, Pi admits admires atheists. To him, the important thing is to believe in something. And atheists have to believe in the absence of God with no concrete proof of absence. Pi dislikes agnostics because they question the existence or non-existence. 
symbol I found in the story was Pi. Seeing Moltar Patel as a child was laughed at for his name. He was first named after a pool that was made fun of, that was named after a pool and was made fun of by the, his fellow students who would say his name. So being an educated kid he was, he devised a way to shorten his name. There's a letter in the Greek alphabet and also contains Alpha and Omega. Terms in the book used to indicate dominant and submissive creatures. Pi is also an irrational math mathematical number used to calculate dis the distance of a circle. Often shortened to 3.14 and never ends. I believe life class should be in the canon because there would be there are many interpretations of the novel after reading. I tell the story with Victor Parker and the animals to hide the true nature of what the human civilization had done in those circumstances. For instance, the true nature to what had happened with the cook killing Pi's mother, the cook representing the hyena, and Pi's mother representing the orange juice for the orangutan. The sailor broke his leg representing him as a zebra, and Pi killed the cook and him the Bengal tiger for Richard Parker. The second reason why Life Blood should be included in the can is you as a reader are able to determine what story to believe in, or what you like better. The first story is told in order to hide the actual happenings of the events that occurred. The second story is provided to make the reader believe in why the events happened in the first story with Richard Parker. And in my conclusion, those are the points I find very important in the book to be considered an important lecture.